Supernatural Tours started in 2006 as the UK Paranormal Research Society, investigating paranormal activity with professional ghost hunting events across the UK. In 2007, they became the first paranormal company to investigate Portsmouth's oldest pub, the Dolphin Inn. Additional to ghost hunts, they run psychic fairs and theatrical ghost walks. Their free taster walk at Fort Whidley gave a chance for people to learn a bit more about numerous reported sightings of ghosts over the Victorian fort's 146 year history. And this is about a lady who appears in a white dress up on the top floor of your books on the tour today. And she's seen up there. And the reason why they think she's up there as a ghost was because at one point they stationed at living quarters for the forces. So they would have lived up there. She was married to a soldier who was stationed here. And so she was up there. Uh, so she was doing some trades, which you can use your imagination for, which didn't go down very well with her husband, of course. Then an argument kicked off, and she was killed as a result of that argument, and she's still said to be upstairs now. Now, she doesn't like men, she's very vengeful of men, but if you're a young guy, a young girl, sorry, or you're a girl, you're alright, because she's quite protective of you, so you're okay, alright, if you do encounter that. And what did some of those on the walk think? I thought it was, like, really fun, scary, of course. <laughs> When he had, like, um, when the man brought up his voice a bit, like, the pitch went up. And would you do another one? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. You've done Fort Nelson before and, um, as well, haven't you? And I thought about um, thinking of the, um, the ghosts. I never really saw any, so I'm thinking maybe next time I could see one. It was brilliant. Picked up quite a bit, actually. It's, it's a, a good bit of evidence down there. There's, there's a lot of activity down there today, actually. It was really good. This one is uh, a normal ghost tour, so it's just basically us telling you a bit about the history and the ghosts as well. The theatrical ones, we use live actors who are all based on real people that are alleged to be ghosts, and they come out of various points to uh, entertain the crowds, get people a little bit scared as well, and play the part. Additional to Portsmouth, ghost walks are run in Southampton and Winchester. Janice is a theatrical actor who works as a volunteer for Supernatural Tours and was in costume as Dame Alice Lyle. I normally take part in the ghost walks in Winchester. I'm not as theatrical as we normally would because it's a family friendly day. I do normally have more gory makeup um, as I've had my neck cut. Um, I tell the tale of Alice Lyle. Um, she was taken to Winchester for ha hoarding um, refugees taking party to treason for the king. Um, she was dragged to Winchester and kept in a little room in the Eclipse Inn. Um, the next morning she was taken from there and they were going to hang and quarter her, um, but they deemed it was not ladylike. So instead they hung her um, and left her there for everybody to see that that's not what you do. They're really, really good. They're very informative and well worth coming on. They show you a lot of the history. And quite scary, but that's what it's meant to be so no it's definitely worth the money and worth coming along to. if you've got a spare evening then I would recommend doing it. We go around the, the city it's only six pounds a ticket per person it lasts about an hour um, it's lovely we're all friendly and then as you go around the city everyone takes part in coming out and tell you a different story uh, we hide in different places so no tours the same it's good fun. There's a lot of like-minded people, so you're all together, you all want to see the same thing, you all want to see something happen. Generally you feel something, whether it's, whether it's real or it's your perception, but everyone's so happy and they, it's just the community feel, it's really, really good. Although you can turn up on the night, the ghost walks are very popular, so prior booking is recommended. This is Shan Robbins for Solent News Now.